Hello everybody, Sean here, and we're taking a look at project cars and some of the options you can mess with to give yourself a better or more improved experience. The first of which is going to be the controls. Go into your controls options, and there's control schemes, there's button layouts. That's all fine and dandy, but what we really want to look at is the configuration. In here are the dead zones and sensitivities. When I first started playing, I found that no matter how gently I moved the joysticks, the cards were still jerking around. Came in here, I lowered the steering sensitivity, and it made a huge improvement on my gameplay experience. Might do the same for you, and messing with some of the other ones might help out as well. Aside from that, while you're in the options menu, you can also go into the gameplay section and change the authenticities and the on-screen displays. But mostly, you want to check out the authenticity. This is going to give you the option to change whether you're getting a really hardcore simulation experience or a more gentle arcade experience where you don't have to worry about collision damage or maintaining your car during the race. You can just do whatever you want. Again, this is something that's going to have a more drastic impact on your gameplay, but it's definitely something you should look into along with the sensitivities and uh, button layouts. Finally, after spending some time with the game, you're going to want to hop into the garage. This is where the true sim experience comes from, as you can change dozens and dozens of options for your car. Now don't worry if you don't want to do this kind of stuff, if you're not very knowledgeable about tweaking your car and finally tuning it. You don't have to. The game does give you some helpful information about what you're changing, but generally speaking, these options are set at a fairly neutral area so that you can play the game and never have to go in here. But if you are a big simulation fan, you're definitely want to hop in here as you can just change so much about your car and then save it for specific races and instances that you need it. But there you go. These are the three areas we really suggest you check out as you can change options to get the most out of Project Cars. I thank you for watching, and we'll see everyone next time.